So if every golfer, or I would say at least the majority of golfers, we're talking like the 99% of golfers can improve with this club going in towards next year, you are likely to be lowering your scores. And what we know most amateur golfers is that you could probably get some more sneaky yardage, either by training, so working on your sort of general athleticism and movement, and that's something we talk about in abundance on the channel, but also just with the efficiency of the hit. And that's something we're gonna take another closer look at, whether that's the type of golf ball that you're using, whether it's making sure that you've got your actual club set up correctly, potentially even the shaft could influence it as well. But what I wanna to do today is talk about the most important thing or the biggest difference between, I would say, pros and ams when it comes to using the driver. And it's gonna be about the relationship of the lead shoulder. So what we've talked about and we're getting closer to sort of concluding is the release of the golf club. And where we've been really kind of focusing our attention is the importance of understanding that we take a backswing position and as we start the downswing, we've been sort of talking about how the hands really sort of dictate how the club releases in a down cocking motion. Now, you'll have to match up the amount of rotation to square the face. And that's one of our concluding videos on this series, but I wanted to kind of make sure we understood exactly what should be happening and I think the biggest problem with most amateurs. So if I sort of just mimic first of all what I tend to see with most amateurs or, or poor drivers of the golf ball is a first movement that looks this way and then a hit which looks sort of this way as opposed to what we see with professional golfers is a first movement which looks this way and an impact looks this way. So what is the difference? Well the difference is very much understanding I think the importance of how to rotate around a tilt okay and that's a tilted spine. By rotating around a tilt influences how your lead shoulder moves and how your lead shoulder is going to affect massively how your hands and therefore the club moves. So the correct type of motion if I just take the club like so the correct type of motion is that what I'm essentially doing is in the backswing I'm with my driver, I'm allowing my upper body to move slightly more over towards my trail leg. And then as I start the downswing, I'm still shifting towards that lead side. But because I've moved more to my right, if you now drew a line vertically through my lead hip, you will see that sort of angulation of my spine. So I'm not here. I'm not completely vertical, I'm moving this way. From this position, we've got tilt. As we start the downswing, we can maintain the tilt, but what you can see is, can you see as I initiate this downswing, the way that lead shoulder is moving more up and behind me. And what that's doing is, the shoulder moving up and behind me allows the hands to come in. So if I go too much this way, the hands are gonna go more outward. If I go this way, hands can come in, and that's gonna have that natural influence on the club releasing mechanism. Now the wrong thing is when golfers try and cover the ball too much with the driver and then the hands go in a very different direction and then you have to kind of add width by sort of pulling your arms up and it's just not a very efficient hit. So what you have to do is you first of all have to make some decent practice swings I think. And I would personally suggest make some practice swings where you're actually hovering the club in the air. So you're actually swinging the club off an imaginary tee peg which would almost be about a foot high and that will kind of discourage you from moving sort of this way. Now my last little point really would be when you're always making practice swings make sure you're doing them at a decent sort of velocity so a decent speed because that will always encourage you to get that same sort of feeling of intensity how you're going to hit a real shot. So when you're doing practice swings don't sort of set up and you know think you're doing the correct sort of thing and just do like quite a limp swing you need to be making sure you're generating the same sort of speed you would do if the golf ball was there and you will have to grow in confidence with this because there's no doubt when I meet people face to face and when I'm working with people online I'm really trying to encourage them to just experiment what it would feel like if your head moves to the right of the ball for a right-handed golfer and then as you start the downswing it almost kind of stays back there and get that feeling of going up because as this goes up my shoulder goes up, my hands can go down. And then when my hands start to move up, that will get that club releasing. So you really have to get that sort of feeling of coming more up with the shoulder to get that sense that you're sweeping the club through. I think that's a good sort of saying to say to yourself is when you're doing these practice swings, sweep it up, okay? Not strike it down. That's it for today. Catch you with you guys again really soon.